Chances are you're ruining your videos and you don't even know it. I bet everyone has some kind of composition overlay on their camera screens when recording. But why don't we do that when transforming a clip in Final Cut Pro? Because there are none. The title safe zones and the horizon, let me get the horizon here, are pretty much the only tools available. But today we will change that. Let's disable both the title action safe zone and the horizon. As you can see, in this drop down menu there's another option called show custom overlay. And I click this one, have a look at that, the rule of thirds appears. You can even change its opacity to see what's going on underneath. Before I show you how I did that, I want to make you aware of one problem with custom overlays. This project is 3840 by 2160, so a pretty standard 16 by 9 4K aspect ratio. This project, on the other hand, is a 1 by 1 aspect ratio. It is 1080 by 1080. And if we switch to the timeline here, have a look at what happens with the custom overlay. It just floats random in the middle here. But don't worry, the aspect ratio is the only factor that matters. This project is in full HD, so 1920 by 1080, and therefore the same aspect ratio as the 4K project. The overlay works just fine as you can see here. So you don't need to create different overlays for different resolutions, only for different aspect ratios. To make a custom overlay, you need an image editing app like Photoshop, Affinity Photo or Pixelmator Pro. So in my case, I will use 3840, by 2160 to get the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The second thing you need to be aware of is the background content. Make sure your background is transparent. Then you can create this document. Once I'm inside my document, I will go to View, Guides, New Guide Layout, and I will go with three columns and three rows. So this gives me the rule of thirds overlay. Now you just have to draw the lines. Once you're done, you need to save this as a PNG file because the PNG file is the only file type that supports transparency. Once you did everything right, you should end up with something like this. A transparent background with your lines on top of it. Now you can go back to Final Cut, click on View, choose Custom Overlay and add Custom Overlay. Now you could select your custom overlay from the desktop. Another way is to Go to Choose Custom Overlay and Reveal in Finder, which brings you right to the folder. Or you can go there manually. Just go to Finder, go, press the Order Option key so you can see the library, go to Library, Application Support, Pro Apps, Custom Overlays, and then you can paste your custom overlay in there. I want to move that. Back in Final Cut, you should be able to choose the custom overlay we just created. There it is. If you are a content creator, you probably need 1x1, 60x9, 9x16, and what about Instagram with the user interface for Instagram stories, for example, blocking parts of your content? If you don't want to spend your day creating custom overlays, I got you covered. On my website, you can download the bundle of 146 custom overlays, including eight aspect ratios and five different compositional guidelines. And I even got you covered with the Instagram story. Feel free to check it out using the link in the video description. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.